one of the biggest challenges uh, VCs face is the length of time it takes to fundraise. You know, LPs, family officers like to build long-term relationships, often between one to two years. And so if you're fundraising as a VC, you need to at least expect it to take a couple of years to close the fund. So I've just finished a CVC workshop for about an hour, talking to about 30 CVCs about their strategy, about what they look for when investing. And one of the hot topics was how CVCs and VCs differ. And of course, the main answer is the strategic initiatives and the close fit to the businesses when they like to invest in founders. And so we talked about um, you know, what they look for and how they um, ensure that they're different to a, to a VC and also what they can provide founders. So we just spoke uh, during our workshop um, about the advantages of um, raising from a CVC over a VC. And one of them was the strategic alignment uh, that founders can receive and the access to their potential customers. So, you know, if I'm a founder and I'm raising from a CVC, I can then receive introductions internally and to their clients. And another one, which is especially relevant for late stage uh, rounds of funding, is they have much greater follow-on funding potential because many CVCs are an evergreen structure or fund from their balance sheet, and so they have much bigger pockets to then write much bigger check size further on um, along the road. We also talked about the challenges of um, receiving capital from CVCs versus VCs, and although there was a lot of debate in the room, because some CVCs said actually we are super quick, as investors, I think we can we can agree that generally CVCs are a bit slower to make decisions because either they need internal buy-in from the stakeholders, or many prefer to have a um, specific client use case before they actually commit the funds. Although, of course, the financially um, geared CVCs that have got a separate vehicle can operate as quick um, the, uh, as the um, as the traditional CVCs. One of the reasons why we held the CVC workshop is we provided a preview of our CVC report um, and we received responses from over a hundred corporates investing in both founders, into funds and into fund funder funds and we shared a lot of insights and one of them was that actually from a sect perspective there was still a lot of interest within B2B, AI, machine learning, very similar very similarly to the VCs. But the other interesting finding is um, that the uh, role and the number of deals the CVCs were doing was a much greater in proportion to VCs. And so in 2010, it was around one in 10 deals. And now in 2024, it's one in four deals. So one in four deals in the VC space now involves a CVC, which is more, of more doubling in the last 15 years. One of the things we talked about um, at the workshop was actually many CVCs have got a very specific niche. And so they're looking at maybe healthcare, maybe biotech. And so they're approaching the founders themselves in a lot of cases. But for when a founder is actually pitching to a CVC and actually dropping them a night or, or getting them a, an introduction, actually we find that preparing um, a strong business case is super important. You know, how is this investment into my company going to benefit the corporate, either from a client perspective or internally.